Call a nurse. Call the doctor. Call 911. Perhaps you've heard those words. Perhaps you've said those words, cried those words, shouted those words. In a moment of worry, fright, and panic, you needed someone to show up to assess the situation, address the options, make a decision, and do something, anything, to make it better and relieve your mind. Or maybe, maybe, you just wanted someone to show up, just to be there with you in that terrible moment. If nothing else, the very presence of someone you trust would be a comfort. And sometimes, presence heals. Matthew relates that Jesus the healer went throughout Palestine, through all the towns and villages, drawing large crowds and healing all the sick, the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others with various diseases. He doesn't say how it was done, whether by word or touch or command. He just says that the healer was there, and there, and there, and many, if not all, were healed. In his presence, and because of the presence of the healer, healing occurred. Luke Files painted this scene of a physician attending the bedside of a sick child. Appearing to be engrossed in thought, he looks with compassion upon the sleeping child. The painting does not portray him as preparing for surgery, nor administering medication, nor even anxiously pacing back and forth. It simply shows him present fully present for this little patient and for those who love her. I was about 10 years old when my dad became very ill. This was a new experience for our family. Dad, who was never ill, never complained, never missed work, was flat on his back in bed with fever and chills, unable to stand without dizziness and fainting. Mom called our family doctor, whose home and office were on the other side of town. He agreed to make a house call and showed up mid-morning, examined Dad and sought to reassure us that he would be okay. I'm not sure that he prescribed any medication. I'm pretty sure that he didn't give him a shot, and I know he didn't start an IV. But our family felt better for his having been there for his presence. And as it turned out, he was right. Dad recovered fully. Lord God of all, be present with each of us today. In the busyness of our lives, allow us to be present for those who call, for those who seek healing, for those hungry for comfort. In the name and spirit of Jesus the healer, who is presence itself, amen.